Good morning everyone! Good morning! Good morning everybody to please stand up and let us pray. In the name of Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning! How was your day, Good class? Good morning! Great! Hope everyone is doing well. Did you already eat your breakfast? Yes, ma'am! Very well, Dad. Okay, let me check your attendance. Row 1. No one is absent. Very good. Row 2. No one is absent. Row 3. And no one is absent. Row at the back. No, no one is absent, absent Okay, very good. No one is absent. For that, I will give each of you 5 <coughs> points. Before going into our next lesson for today, let's have a short recap. What was our lesson yesterday? Who can remember? Anyone? Angelito? All right, our topic is today is all about adjective. Now, class, what is adjective? Jayon? The fire Very snow, good. Hey, class, are you ready for our lesson for today? Take a look in these pictures. So, what can you say about the two pictures? Giselle? Brilliant! Which of the pictures are more appealing to you and why? Anyone? Yes, Johnny's! First picture, Very ma'am. good! You got the point! Then what makes the other picture less appealing? Marielle? It's kind of blurred, ma'am. Exactly! Now, class, let's have an activity. But before that, I need a volunteer to read the four sentences here in the board. Anyone? Please raise your hand. Yes, Doris. Her hair is pretty and long. Her shiny jet black hair reaches her waist. Her perfume smells like chocolate, but sweeter. Her perfume smells good. Thank you, Doris. You may now take your seat. Okay, class. I want you to get the pair and discuss which among of the four sentences presented are more appealing? With your pair, decide which among of the sentences shows a clear picture of the subject. And I want you to write it down on one-fourth sheet of paper. Do you got me, class? When you do your work, class, I want you to minimize your voice and help each other to have a good outcome. I'll be giving you five minutes for your task class. Do you got me? You may now start your work class. Are you done class? Five minutes is over. Time is up. Please pass your paper. Thank you. Okay, let me check your work. Very good. Very good. Very good. Wow! Majority of you got the correct answer. Now class, I will get random pair based on this work. I will ask some question. Who would be that pair? Let me see. Okay. Which pair? Oops. Edu and Rodo pair. Please stand up. Okay. Based on your answer. Why did you choose such sentence? Brilliant! Now class, let's give them a round of applause. Now, another pair. Are you ready? Okay, who would that be? Wait. Okay. Shella and Benmar. Okay, please stand up. I want you to identify some words that make the sentences more appealing yes wow amazing now class let's give them a round of applause okay class the concrete details that shella's pair identified from the sentences are called sensory details 
So our topic for today is all about sensory details. At the end of the discussion, students are expected to first explain what sensory details is all about. Second, exercise the use of sensory details in creative writing. Third, appreciate the importance of sensory details in creative writing. Again, class, the words or phrase that describe the content of the text are vividly called what? Anyone? Jenea! Marvelous! It is vividly called sensory details. When you talk about sensory details, it includes what? I'll give you a hint. Take a clue on the words sensory. Anyone? Please raise your hand. Milka? Genius! It includes our five senses. And what are those five senses? Sense of taste, smell, sight, touch, and hearing. Very good! Yes, are you familiar with this painting? Okay, this painting is called Starry Night and it's painted by Vincent Van Gogh. He uses some details to catch his viewer's attention. Same with writing. A writer must employ five senses to engage his reader's interest. If you want your writing to jump off the page, then bring your reader into the world that you are creating. When describing a past event, try to remember what you saw, what you heard, touch, smell, smell, and taste. Then, incorporate that into your writing. Therefore, it's better to add more spices in your dishes, right? Do you got me, class? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma okay. Any question regarding our discussion for today? No, no ma'am. Not at all, ma'am. No, so far, thank you. Since you don't have any question, I will ask you some questions. Are sensory details really important in creative writing? Yes, Cherokee? Definitely yes, ma'am. Correct. Ma what benefits or advantage will give it to the reader? Elsa? Alright, you got the point! Based on their answers, how do you define sensory details? Yes, Maritel! Very good! Class, I have here a sample text and I want you to read it silently. I want you to imagine what is happening in the text. Can you vividly imagine the scent of the studio in the sample text? Do the text give you complete sensory details? Class, please read it silently. We start reading the sample text now. Okay, class, are you done? The reason why I let you read the text because I want you to realize the importance of sensory details, especially in... Correct in writing. Is there any question regarding our lesson for the day? Any clarification? None so far? Okay, let's go to our exercise for today. Okay, are you ready for our exercise today? Get one half sheet of paper and write down the words or adjective that you can think that appeals to the sentence. List down five words or adjective in each column. You got me, class? I will give you 10 minutes for that. Yes? Please observe silence while doing your work. Do you got me? You may now start your task. Time's up. Ball pens up. Michelle, please collect the paper. Let me have the paper. Thank you, Michelle. I will check your paper later. Now, to check your creativity in writing, let's have an essay. Class. Listen carefully. I want you to create an essay or story about this picture. Make sure to add lots of sensory details. It must consist two paragraphs. You got me? Any question regarding my instruction? Before that, use your criteria or basis in doing your task class. I'll be giving you 15 minutes for that. You may now start your task. Time's up, class. Pass your paper. Cecil, please collect the papers. 
Thank you, Cecil. You're welcome, ma'am. Please get your assignment notebook and jot down the writings on the board. Are you done copying class? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Please pick up some small pieces under your chairs and put it on the trash can. Please arrange your chairs. Okay, now, everyone, please stand up for our closing prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Goodbye, class, and take care.